Peeps, I'm sitting here with the Flash Forge AD5X, and this machine has one annoying problem. The spool holders aren't labeled. They are one, two, three, four. But how are you supposed to know that? Today, we're gonna fix this problem with a simple 3D print that we're gonna make on the printer itself. That's right, our 3D printer is printing its own parts. What a time to be alive. Let's check it out. Here I am on printables on Air Johan 71. And I'm going to download this model right here. Drag those four models onto the bed in Flash Forge Orca. And we'll assign two colors. I'm going to use Landu Black for the letters. And I'm going to use Solian bluish greenish color for the backers. First, I will assign all of these pieces to the bluish color. Then I will pop into the paint tool by clicking here or pressing N. I'll choose the fill bucket. I'll choose filament number one, which is black, and I will paint the top of that number black. We can do the same for each model. Painting in a consistent manner this way is important since we will be printing all the parts at one time. We want the color changes to happen at the same layers. You can go deeper into the layer by returning to the color tool, using fill, and filling in these outer edges. Now you have a thicker paint on that three-dimensional number. We would, of course, have to enter each piece and do this again. Some pieces have more walls than others and might take a little extra work to color them all. Make sure you don't miss one or else you're gonna have additional color changes and you won't understand why your print is taking so long. Spin it all around, make sure it's all the color you want. There you go. We now have nice raised black colored numbers. Also, because we have colored the entire number, we only have two filament changes. If we just did the top, we'd have six color changes as it would transition over a few layers. With fully painted letters, we only have two color changes and this is the way I suggest you do it. I will send it off to my ADX5. Since we have four items with flat bases, you might want to choose leveling. And here we are, a beautiful print of labeled accessories for our rollers. Grab yourself a tool that fits the screws on these roller caps. My bit says H2.0. Use that tool to remove three screws from the caps of each roller. Be gentle, these are threaded into plastic. We will leave those caps off and install the new caps in their place. Take note of these little notches right here. The original pieces have little holes. So does the print. Make sure they're clean and try your best to get them into the little holes should almost feel like a little Lego clicking into place. I found mine didn't necessarily snap in, but when I screw them in, they would press themselves into place acceptably. Just be careful not to crack your part. If you do, just go ahead and print another one. If you get each one in a little bit and then work your way around snugging it just enough, it will work its way in and fit really well against those nubs. You should see a nice flush fit along the part. You may find this easier with filament on or without filament on. I tried it both ways, they both work. 
One, two, three, four. No more confusing your filament slots. And just like that, you have 3D printed your own filament roller labels and will never forget which slot is which again. I'm Mr. Greg, this is the ADX5, and this is a really cool IFS modification in your on 3D Rundown.